Nacho. This is Nacho. Welcome to Texas Bandom Linians. It's gonna be fantastic. Everything okay today? It was the best. Alright, good. Fantastic. Wonderful. 1745. <laughs> <laughs> I look fantastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. You look lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm at Barndo 214 today. Uh, I know it's been a while, so I'm gonna give you another update. Let's go check it out. All right, so as you can see, we already have all the drywall up, the trim's going up, the beams are already covered. We use white oak on all the beams and the flooring is being done right now. So a lot going on in here. All right, I'm gonna get out of the noise. It's pretty loud over there. So here's another shower that we're working on right now. So as you can see, the tile is being done. We asked the customers to make, to tell us, you know, the tile that they want, the grout, and also to make us a diagram of how they want it done. So we uh, staple all that to every shower to make sure we get it right, or that the tile guy knows what he's doing. They're working upstairs, so I can't really get up there and show you much, but as you guys can see, we've made quite a bit of progress since the last time I showed you this. All right, so I can't show you much inside, so let's show you the outside. As you guys can see, we have the uh, outdoor fixtures going up. Pretty barn ish I like those, they look nice. Got the septic system right there. And of course the rain collection is done. That turned out pretty nice. And uh, this is a uh, wet system. As you can see, there's all the downspouts right here. They go straight into, the, into uh, pipes that go underground all the way to the tank, which is a pretty nice looking tank that sits way over there. I will do a full video on this system later on and I will give you a lot more details about it. All right, so me and Manny went to Barndo 214. Um, it's raining, everything's wet, and uh, but we're gonna go check on two other Barndos to see how progress is going. So, a lot to do today. Busy, busy. It's the best. <laughs> <laughs> You're only supposed to believe in science. So, Manny was supposed to dress up as Esqueleto, but he didn't. It's too cold to dress up in boxer briefs. Of course, I had to take him to Bucky's. Not a sponsor. Not a, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to the other job sites. We'll see how it looks out there. We'll let you know. All right, so we're in Schulenburg, Texas, and I'm gonna get me some pecans. They have some amazing stuff here, so I'm gonna get me some of that before I go to the job site. They make a good snack. What is that? Red velvet, caramel, and cinnamon sugar. That looks good. Do you want to try one of each? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one's red velvet, caramel, and cinnamon sugar. All right. You want to try some? Uh, sure. I don't have a pocket. Okay. Just hang on to it. <laughs> uh, red velvet, caramel, and cinnamon sugar. Uh -huh. Thank you. These are freaking good. All right, the caramel for sure for me. Which one do you like? I don't even know which one's which. I think that was a caramel. We can, you can taste the caramel. <sighs> Man, these are freaking amazing. These are the chocolate covered pecans. Uh, that's some good stuff. Of course, I can't have any of that anymore. But I remember, they used to be amazing. Look at all this fudge. Do you want a sample of fudge? No, I better not. You want some, any? Oh, 
Oh, look at this. This is my kryptonite. What's your favorite pie? Pecan pie and apple pie. Right there, look at that. Get you some. Ah. So they have a lot of stuff here. Um, you know, soaps, uh, creams, whatever you want. Come and get it. More pecans. This is the red velvet that we tried. And here's the caramel pecans. Look at that, shape of Texas. Hey, uh, you have just shelled pecans? Just Yeah, right when you unlocked it. Oh, right here. Look at this. I'm gonna get me one of these. Can you get one? This is two pounds. No, this is four pounds. You can get Mercedes one of these shaky cups. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, that's to try it out. Oh, there you go. Give me a sample. Come on, Manny. You had one job. Pretty good. Here's the prices. I'm gonna give me the four pound. I love pecans, so. This will, see my wife's gonna make pecan pies. I love pecan pies, so. I'm gonna get some pecans so you can make some pecan pies. And I really like them just by themselves. Man, I can eat pecans all day. You gonna get anything? Yeah, I'm looking around. What'd you get? Hot and spicy mix. So man is having to hang on to my money because this thing doesn't have any pockets. <laughs> That's the price you pay for being natural libre. I ate some weeds, I ate some grass, I used my hand to wipe my tears. <laughs> Have you seen the movie? No. no. Oh, that's why. That's why you're not getting it. That's probably why they didn't have money back then. <laughs> they don't have any pockets. I wonder what came first, money or pockets? You ever wonder that? Money, maybe. I guess, I guess without money, you had no use for pockets. Who knows? <laughs> All right, so we're at another job site right now. As you can see, it's being framed. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Nacho! Give us all. All right, so as you guys know, every time we have siding and stuff on the outside of the wall, under the porch, we leave out the metal wall and we do a two by eight wall, stud wall. Pretty noisy in here, but you should still be able to hear me. Another thing that we do, look at these headers up here. They're inset. The reason we inset those headers is so that we can get insulation in here, okay? So, again, we're just trying to make a very efficient barnuminium. So the reason uh, we use the steel seal on all the walls, including on the interior walls, is uh, the walls will now soak up uh, moisture whenever we're doing the flooring. And that way we don't run any risks of the sealer peeling up due to moisture. So this is a pitch roof barn though, as you can tell. So, they're building the nine foot, uh, this barn is gonna have nine foot ceilings. So that's why the framing is going to there. And then from here, they're gonna put LVL all the way across the center and they're gonna do ceiling joists from there on. A question I get a lot is how we attach these uh, walls to one another. As you can see, we have a slight gap between the girt and uh, the stud. Okay, we don't want them touching. Because as you know, these are gonna move at different rates. The metal is gonna be obviously exposed to the outside and insulated. And we wanna leave that gap there so we don't have any thermal conduction. So, or thermal bridging. And then when we foam this wall, the foam is gonna foam, we're gonna foam the metal and over the girt, 
all the way over, all right, so that we make sure we don't have any thermal bridging, okay? Now, to attach the uh, stud wall to the girts, we use uh, storm ties. So this is what we use to attach the uh, stud wall to the, to the metal wall. So this is what we use to connect the two. These are called uh, storm ties, okay? Uh, again, it's uh, light enough that they can still move at different rates, but if, you try to, if they try to separate from one another, this would provide a, provide a, lot, of, uh, a lot of strength. So that's how we attach them. Of course, we we'll put these all the way around, you know, here and up there, all the way around. And that's how we attach them. All right, so this is the back porch. As you can see, we have the same treatment. We're gonna have siding in here. So that's the reason we're doing a two by eight stud wall. And of course the porch right now, we don't have the soffits on. Uh, those will come later. We'll have a downspout right there. And uh, of course we'll have soffits and uh, skirting. So none of that metal work is gonna show. Of course we have a three by five window right there. And then we have a small window in the bathroom. Now that right there, from here, this looks like a shop, but it's not. It's actually just a windbreak. I'm standing on the north side of the barn door right now. So that's just simply a windbreak that the customer wanted. So obviously in the winter time, he's gonna keep the door closed. And in the summer, he's going to be able to just simply open it and let the breeze in. I'll show you. That's it. So it's just a windbreak. And of course, the barn door is right there. That's, that's where the barn door starts. Of course, Manny just walked out. And of course, all that's gonna get soffits up there. Gonna get metal soffits. All that's gonna get soffited. And of course, this is all gonna get skirted over here. So it'll look real nice when it's done. And of course, I think probably the door is going to get used the most. This is the side door. But as you know, <laughs> they're the ones that get used the most. And of course, you're going to be able to walk into the house from here. And uh, you know, you have your bedrooms on the sides. And then that'll lead all the way up to the living room, dining room, and kitchen. All right, I'm going to let these guys get to work. And me and Manny have another job site to go to. More. You ready? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the next job site. It's cold out here. It's still raining. So you can tell right there, that's the other barn door that we're building. It is, however, extremely wet out here. So we're not gonna tear up the road. So we're not gonna go in there. It's been raining for the last two days. And uh, like I said, I, won't, I don't want to tear up the road. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy Halloween with your families. We'll see you next time. We are Texas Barnum Mediums.